Hello viewers, welcome to QTP functional testing videos. Myself was I. In my previous videos related to XML files, I explained you about how exactly we will retrieve the content from an XML file and how to update the content in XML file and save, save that XML file and how to compare to XML file. Right. So in this video, I would like to demonstrate to you about how to retrieve the content from XML file using XML DOM. Okay. So uh, there is no much difference between, uh, like you know, syntactically or scripting wise, there is no much difference between working with XML util or MS XML DOM. But if you have, like you know, where you need a complex kind of uh, XML operations like validating XML schemas or whatever it is if it is if you have such an heavyweight uh, XML operation I always suggest you to use XML DOM whereas if you are working in an environment where only retrieving the XML content or just updating in XML content then it is always easy to use XML util object Okay, so uh, let's get into this example. I will explain you about how to retrieve the content. What is exa what exactly the difference between XML DOM and uh, XML util, right? So I am using the same example uh, for this uh, uh, for this demonstration. Whereas cars is the main root element, make, model, and each model have a name and release in this year right so in order to work with xml dom what we have to do is we have to create an object called microsoft dot xml dom right so which will create an xml dom object and assigns into this variable okay async is a property and we need to set the value as false okay so this is the explanation about uh, when to set false and when to set true okay so once you create this xml object you need to load the content of this cars file right so whatever the content existing in this cars file needs to be loaded for that what you need to do is we need to use the load method so whatever the object that is created here use the load method and give the file name so the content will be loaded into this object right which is exactly similar to using create xml from file right so whatever the kind like you know once you use this create xml from file what it will do it will load the content in this file to this object okay so once the content is loaded what i'm interested in i want to find out all the model names right so in morthy manufacturer we have a model name called alto okay in hyundai manufacturer we have a model called i10 in morthy uh, manufacturer we have a model name called wagner so i would like to print all these model names available in my a uh, cars example file right so for that what we need to do is we need to traverse this path right so for that how we will do is in using uh, xml util how we use it to do, do that we use child elements by path name right this is how we used in xml util right so here also we need to follow the same kind of structure but what you need to do is you need to use the select nodes method and you need to specify this path okay and you need to give the text property so that it will retrieve the text content of those xml element right so once you use this what it will re return you is it will return you the collection of child objects right and in this example how many child objects we have we have three branches right so even in my previous video i explained in a 
dom kind of uh, like pictorial representation of this car right as you can see that we have a three branches now so that collection is assigned to this object right so once you have the, this child collection what you need to do you need to traverse to the each individual item so for that i am putting this loop okay and each child item of i so for the first item it will return you the this model name for the second item it will return you this model name okay for third item it will return you this model name okay there is a slight difference in between these two here see what we are doing here is once we get the collection child like child object this object dot count property will retrieve you the count but whereas if you use xml dom you need to use the length okay and one more thing here is the index starts here is with one whereas the index here is zero okay and one more difference is like you know uh, once you have this child object we use the item property item of index right whereas you here you need to directly give the this object of i itself okay so uh, let me execute this and show you what exactly is getting displayed here and as you can see it is displaying the all the model names right um, even if you see this it will give you the same result see the actually functionality wise these two things are same okay only there are slight syntactical differences as you can see here also it will display the same thing right so as per your needs choose whatever method that you want right both will serve you the same purpose okay it is up to you to choose the method which suits for your needs okay that's all in this video thanks for watching please leave your comments about this video thank you